Um, I don't feel the need to pad this out just to pad it out like the movie did. No, we could definitely do shots of us just standing, <laughs> <laughs> looking. We, we should have broadcast this in way lower quality than normal. Yes, and you should have put a filter over it, and you should have made it so that the visuals and audio were delayed. Yeah, I actually meant to come in in Spider-Man costume, and I totally forgot to do it. I was going to do that. Rats. Oh, my God. I'm so glad you said that. That was the other hilarious thing that I have to bring up. Oh. The, the thing with the rats. What's the thing with the rats again? It's not coming to me. Okay, so. Oh, but it's, but it's the. I, I say it's the most memorable scene. I almost forgot to talk about it. I, I'm surprised. <laughs> and I don't remember. I'm surprised that this specifically wasn't brought up in that synopsis, though. Do you remember the the guy that uh, that Spider Man is torturing, who uh, he thinks is a rat, and he does like the 1984 Maybe. thing to him? Where well, Matt Reeves did watch this movie, is what you're saying? <laughs> no, I'm saying Matt Reeves read 1984, but <laughs> this does do that thing mm -hmm. uh, where he's. Do you remember this now? Uh, vaguely. I remember the part where he's, like, torturing a rat, but I don't remember... No, he's, he tortures this guy with rats. Oh, okay, so yeah. So he's got him in a chair, and he hooks him up to this, uh, th this tiny tunnel system. And he puts the rat a crazy amount of distance away from this guy, where he's got to walk, like, 15 <laughs> feet to get to this guy's head, right? Yeah. Do you remember this now? Uh... It's, it's not coming to me. So and I feel really bad. Aust Austin crazy. was like eating chips and he was like, screw it. He was just lo looking away from the screen. And um, his constitution couldn't take it. It was, it, this was, this scene was too scary. He had to look away. So, <laughs> exactly. I was frightened. So the rat, I'm, I'm going to do it in air quotes, is, uh, is, is coming up to this guy and you, you, we keep cutting back and forth where you see, we do a lot of kind of, kind of quick cut back and forth to try to uh, yep. manufacture uh, suspense in this movie. And we keep, we, we, we go to the guy's head. And he's like, Oh no. And then here, and then here comes the, the rat. He's like, Oh no. And then we finally, I uh, cut back to him at the end of the shot and he's just got blood all around his eyes and he goes, ah, okay. I still remember this. As, as it's coming down, so 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 uh, Spider Man keeps saying uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna torture him with rats, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a guinea pig. It's yeah. a super adorable looking guinea pig that's yes, supposed I, to be this like ravenous oh. rat, and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. No, okay, I do remember this now. The second you said like, to the bloody shot where he screams, it, it like clicked in. The, Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad that you said the word rat, or I would not have remembered to bring that up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't know the difference between L and La? <laughs> Tom Lash, man, yo! <laughs> no, how about Tur Turkish <laughs> fellas? Jira, $5 super chat. Uh, thanks again, man. Spider Man had giant eyebrows or eyelashes. <laughs> or eyelashes. Yeah, I was distracted by that through the mask where they just kept popping out. It, well, it's really like Cesar Romero's mustache, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> no, you had this super adorable guinea pig. And then the guy is like dying because the guinea pig got him. <laughs> so good. <laughs> that is that is legitimately funny. Yeah. No, no, that is funny. The part where the guy screams is really great. Yeah. No, that is top tier bad movie stuff. It's just that's few and far between. Yeah, it's that's like a minute. Like that and the homeless guy and the the, the strip tea is seen. That's all pretty great. Mm -hmm. Things you don't normally get to hear Cap say, but there you go. Yeah, exactly. It's this it's so I got to jump in here real quick and mention something that I forgot to bring up on the show last night. This is Captain Logan from the future now. Uh, the movie is called Three Dev Adam, and that apparently is Turkish for three giant men. And I guess the giant men are Captain America, Spider-Man, and the Mexican wrestler Santos. And none of them are giant, but it's three giant men. And there are a couple of different posters that suggest different uh, 
meanings for that title. So one is indeed three giant men, and that's how you'll see this most of the time. But I also found posters, and I don't know if this is like a, a real release or if this is a bootleg thing, but uh, suggesting that dev stands for devil, that it's three devil men. So I just wanted to mention that, and I can't believe at no point did I bring up the title last night because I couldn't help the whole way I was watching it thinking of Seth Adam because of the Black Adam movie, where throughout that we hear him referred to as Seth Adam a lot more than he was referred to as Black Adam, and I kept wanting to call the movie Three Seth Adam, but that's not what it's called. It's Three Dev Adam. Might be Three Giant Men, might be Three Devil Men, but that would make the good guy Captain America also so a devil or the devil, I mean, he does murder a lot of people, so he kills them very violently. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. See you again real soon.